Hello, and welcome to the English Department's Introduction to Library Research video tour. My name is Don Bruce. I teach English here at Columbus State Community College, and I'll be leading you through your Introduction to Library Research today. This is the first video of several, which will take you through the basics of library research. To begin, we must navigate to the library's homepage. You can do that from the Columbus State Community College website by hovering over the Quick Links drop-down menu located on the right of the page. Looking down the menu, you'll see a listing for Library ERC. ERC stands for Educational Resources Center, and that's important because the library will be key to your academic life. It is where you can find a wealth of resources to help you successfully work towards your degree. Clicking on the Library ERC link, we are taken to the library's main homepage. From here, you can complete a wide variety of tasks. Via the library catalog link, you can find books, movies, and documentaries all available to you for either academic or recreational purposes. Via the research databases link, you have access to a good selection of databases, and here we mean a pre-screened selection of credible academic sources, which can give you the most up-to-date information from scholars in a host of research fields, as well as access to the most current popular news publications. Unlike many of the sources you may find available via Google, Bing, Yahoo, or some other search engine, these sources in general meet the credibility requirements expected of a source used in an academic paper. More to the point, these resources are an entryway to the larger conversation you are joining as a college student. In academia and in research, opinions mean little to nothing. We all have opinions, many of them based upon nothing more than half-remembered conversations, parental guidance, or our personal taste. What you will be expected to do in college is put aside those personal beliefs and examine the actual evidence regarding a given topic, evidence that has been collected by experts in their fields using proven research methods. You may also be asked to consider larger issues, such as bias, ideology, class, and funding, all of which affect the views of researchers, politicians, theologians, and other experts to whom we turn for guidance and leadership. Out of this confusing stew, you'll be asked to distill a view based upon the evidence, not just your opinion, which clearly articulates your argument and ethically supports it by including citations that clearly indicate where your source material was found and allow a critical reader to retrace your research trail. Many of the tools you need to grow into a solid academic author can be found right here at the click of a mouse. In the next segment, we will begin basic research on the topic.